Hello everybody and welcome back to Willow Eye. Today we are playing, I believe it's called Sui Koden or Sui Koden? I don't know. I, I, it's Japanese name, it looks like. So I couldn't really pronounce it. Probably could have looked it up first. But I saw the game, I read the description of it, I was like, ooh, that looks like it could be fun. Now what it was saying is you apparently are trying to build an army of rebels and make a fortress or something. It was a very brief description. Now I've never seen anything about this game, but considering I have five on this thing, this hard drive, plus tactics, uh, this is on the hyperbase. Is fate unchangeable? I missed the first line. <laughs> Uh, this is a PS1 game, by the way. The other ones are PS2. But this is the only PS1 game I'm aware of. Okay. That's interesting. They look like ants! A bunch of little ants all running around. <laughs> that's funny. I've actually been watching Ants Canada recently, so maybe that's why I see it that way. Armies of ants going at each other in the uh, vivarium. Alright, we're going to skip this before it shows us something we don't want to see. Nineteen ninety-five. I was only five years old. Alright, new game. I look like so many Dragon Quest characters. I never know what the buttons are going to end up being until I start playing the game. Fortunately, X on this one is actually the A button. Or should I say down. Considering, you know, sometimes I have to press B to press A and or X. Okay. Um, I'm in a room. What's the matter, Willow? Are you nervous? Don't worry, the audience will be finished quickly. Just be the way you always are. The Emperor is stern, but there's nothing to be afraid of. Master Tio, Master Willow, the Emperor will receive you now. Please come this way. Tio McDole. General of the Imperial Army and his son Willow McDowell. Here for an audience with the Emperor. Get a little bit of deja vu here. Welcome, Tio. How are things? Much as they were when we fought together in the War of Succession, Your Highness. Impressive words. Do you not agree, Windy? Indeed, they are the words of a great general. Tio, I am sure you are aware of the troubling activity in the north. Would you be willing to travel there to protect the border? Our disputes with the United City-States of Jowstone are complicated, but with General McDowell in charge, we can rest assured. My beloved sword, Prock, has brought me luck on countless occasions. I would like you to have it. Take it with you. Thank you, Your Highness. I, Tio, swear not to disappoint you. You have my blessings. Good luck, Tio. So, you're Tio's boy, Willow. Quite an impressive little countenance. Listen, Willow. Would you be willing to give the Empire a helping hand while your father is protecting the northern border? Oh. Yes, your highness. 
You already resemble your father. I shall look forward to seeing you grow into manhood. Thank you for your kind words, your highness. Commander Craze of the Imperial Guard will be Master Willow's superior. What an attractive young man you are. Good luck to you, Willow. We had better be going, your highness. I'm relying on you, Tio and Willow. I hope your efforts will surpass your father's. <laughs> Those voices. <laughs> they take so much out of me. Let's go. Okay, so you're following me now? Shouldn't it be the other way around? Oh, that's a wall. That was a wall. Okay, um... This is a weird setup you guys got here. Who's this? Kazim Hazil. Ah, Tio. It looks like you've brought a fine son into this world. I envy you. You're embarrassing me, Kazim. I feel like I remember this. This is... Cr oh. This is Craze's room. You'll be reporting to him starting tomorrow. Go and introduce yourself. Huh? So you're Tio's boy. What's your name, Willow? I couldn't care less if you're the son of a great general. You'll get no special treatment here, understand? Now go on home. Work begins tomorrow. Report here first thing in the morning. I don't know why I gave him that point. Did you introduce yourself? I must admit, I'm quite surprised that you've been assigned to such a weakling. But, well, let's get going. Gremio must be worried sick. I feel like I've played this. I don't know how much of it I've played, but I feel like I've played this. You know what? I bet you it was on the Miu uh, Mini. That's probably where I played it. I wouldn't have played very much of it then. I probably did a little test and tried to see. I did. Welcome home, young master. How did it go? Was everything okay? Were you nervous in front of the Emperor? I was so worried. But I guess everything went, well, went fine. You shouldn't worry so much, Gremio. Oh, Master Tio. I didn't notice you at all. Didn't notice me? Good grief, the only one you seem to care about is Willow. Sorry, Master Tio, but by the way, young Master Ted is here to congratulate you. Oh my god, the stew, the stew! <laughs> oh, wow, this is an interesting place. My hands are full right now. This is the most important step when you're making a stew. Young master, that hurts. Please stop. <laughs> okay. Hey, Grumio, where's my supper? Say, it's young master. Back already? How was your audience with the emperor? Young master, how many times do I have to tell you? Please knock before entering the... Young master, how many times do I have to tell you? Please knock before entering the room of a lady. Oh, well, you can be forgiven if it's my room, I suppose. So how was your audience with the emperor? Were you nervous? Okay, I guess. Those bookcases are apparently stairs. I heard the news, Willow. You met the Emperor, didn't you? Tell me about it, please. Let's go up to your room, okay? Tell me all about the Emperor right now. Ted joins the entourage. For like five steps. Please let me join your entourage. I owe so much to Master Tio, who adopted me when I was an orphan, and I want to return the favor, okay? Don't you like how they just kind of stick that little tidbit of information as to who he is and where he comes from? 
as if that would be normal speak. Like, I don't think anybody would speak like that. Of course! Great, I knew you were a good friend. Now for more important matters. What kind of man was the Emperor? And tell me about Wendy, the court magician. Was she beautiful? Come on, tell me everything. I see. I am sure I would like to see Wendy in person. Hey, Willow. I really don't know how to tell you this, but, um... Say, Willow, there's something I want to tell you. Can you keep a secret? Can you promise not to tell anybody what I'm about to tell you? Young Master Ted, supper is ready. Hey, it's time to eat. Let's go, Willow. We could talk some other time. Are the glasses filled? Attention, everybody. Tomorrow morning, I must travel north. Willow will be responsible for the household in my absence. I'd like you all to give him full support. Gremio? Y yes sir. You've taken care of Willow since he was a baby, thanks to your efforts. He's grown into a fine youth. I'm grateful to you. But sir, I this is my job, and, and besides, serving young master is a pleasure for me too. I'm glad to hear it. I hope you continue to watch over him. Cleo, Pawn, I'm counting on you two as well to help and protect. Yes, Master Tio. Of course, sir. Leave it to us. And Ted, I hope you'll always be a good friend to Willow. Betrays in the next episode. No, I actually haven't gone that far. I do so even if you said otherwise, sir. Right, Willow? I believe I got to the point where you finally leave town, and that was the last thing I did. Enough talk. Let's eat before the food gets cold. Let's raise our glasses. If I remember correctly, and I'm being honest here if I'm remembering correctly, to my son, to the Empire, I died on the very first battle. And had to restart the whole game and said, no, I'm not doing this anymore. If I am correct in my memory of this. It looks like I won't be seeing your face for a while, Willow. Shall I wake him up? No, let him sleep. It's not as if we'll never meet again. Bum, 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 foreshadowing. Grumio, take good care of him, won't you? I will, Master Tio. I like how he's sleeping with his eyes open. You guys notice that? I wonder if I can save. Ah, I can. Good. Oh, did I wake you up? Good morning. Listen, young master. Master Tio departed while you were sleeping. You're such a late sleeper. Today you start working as a member of the Imperial Forces. We must prepare to visit Commander Craze. Grimio joins the entourage. So the next time we have a day off, hey, here comes your late, er, here he comes, you're late, young master. It's your first day on the job. I'm so excited. Whether it's battling bandits on Mount Shifu or monsters on Lake Torin, Pawn's here, your, Pawn, here's your man. Calm down, will you? All you ever think about is fighting. Our job is to protect the young master. I know, I know. Now let's be on our way to the palace. Pawn joins the entourage. Cleo joins the entourage. That doesn't look like a girl to me. Hey, wait for me, Willow. How can you leave me behind? You know you'll be lonely without me, right, Willow? Ted joins the entourage. Get out of here, birds. Can I run? Can't run. I also have no menu. Nope. Oh, I have to press select. Setup? Is that how I save? I can't save. Well, this is a long walk. 
<laughs> so it's Tio's boy. You're late. You can't be pampered all your life, you know. Now for your first assignment, listen carefully because I'll only tell you once. Northeast of Gregminster lies the Magician's Island, Leknat. The seer lives there. She has been commissioned to look into the stars, go there, and bring me her results. Are you listening? Tell me where the Magician's Island is. Northeast of Gregminster. Pretty sure it was Northeast. At least you can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Here are the rest of your instructions. There is no boat to Magician's Island, but I've arranged for a Dragon Knight from the Knights of the Dragon's Den to take you there. So you'll find him in front of the barn. The dragon will transport you to the island. By the way, Leknat, the seer, is the younger sister of court magician Wendy. So you'd better behave yourself. Alright, we gotta go find the stable? Or barn, I mean. Stable barn? Something? Gee, I was looking forward to your first job and it turns out to be an errand. As if we were kids, I was hoping for something really exciting. Take it easy, Pawn. Besides, the astrological results are very important for the Empire. It's not such a bad assignment. You're right. This job won't be so dangerous. Oh, I don't mean to imply that you're not reliable, Master Willow, but... Hey, Willow. We get to ride a dragon and meet a real dragon knight. Dragon knights are really cool. Come on, let's get going. So where's that stable? Or, hey, just some kind of barn. Some place that has hay in it. Because I don't know. Do I have to leave the city for that? Okay, so when I played this on the Miu Mini, I left town and I got into a battle and died. <laughs> Apparently, I was supposed to come here. I was looking forward to meeting a real dragon knight and this punk shows up. What a drag. Ooh, he's got a dragon. Futch. His name is Futch. No wonder he's angry. Are you the Imperial Guard? I'm Futch, Apprentice Dragon Knight, and this is my Black Dragon, er, Black Dragon? Dragon Black? I don't know. Hey, Black, introduce yourself. He's an elephant! Isn't he cute? So you'll be going to Magician Island. Black will take you there in no time. You're a Dragon Knight? You're just a punk. What did you say? You're a punk yourself. I'm a punk? I happen to be 300 years... Alright, that's enough. Let's be on our way. Let go of me, Gremio. He called me a punk. Oh boy, this is going to be some trip. Take it easy, Futch. Let's get going. Okay, okay, everyone climb aboard the basket on Black's back. There's a lot of people for the one dragon. Are you ready? Hold on tight or you'll fall off. Not that I'd mind if one of you fe did fall off. Hey! Watch it. Quit fighting in the basket. Okay, Black, let's go. Why is the dragon an elephant? Of all sounds I could have chosen for a dragon, they used an elephant. Gets humor points, at least. I've never been this far. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I tested this game. We're not even on his back. Anyway, I tested this game, like, a year ago. It was right when I first got the Miu Mini, so it was a while ago. Here we are. Speed make you dizzy? Well, my job ends here. I'll wait here until you're done. Be careful. I'm gonna go look down here. There's nothing here. Okay. Never mind. That was fast. I can bribe the plants. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, fight. 
They're Holly Boys. Wait, what's Rune? Boar Rune? I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just going to do it like that. I don't think I needed to use the rune. What happened to him? Does the boar rune... Does the boar rune damage him? It did like... No, that couldn't have been from that. Wow. Can you guys hear that? Quack, quack. <laughs> okay, so I can't choose anything. I could change the formation if I wanted to. Equipment. I don't think I have anything. How do you even save this game? Do I have any items? I do have some medicine. Oh, everybody holds their own stuff? Oh, that's just wonderful. Okay. I'm gonna, uh, just save. <laughs> because I don't trust this game after the last time. There's a thing there, but... I don't know. I, I don't know if this is one of those games where you can have nothing on the ground and then press A on it and all of a sudden you get something. I can see there's a chest there. What are those? Oh, fight, run, bribe, free will. Okay, so fight. Okay, so he can't even hit those ones. They're a fur fur. Give that a shot. Wow. Oh no, they're killing them off. Yay, level two. But we are injured. Oh yeah, Gremio is almost dead. Okay, we gotta fix that. Uh, all right, medicine. There we go. That's not so bad. Alright. Let's check out this chest. Oh, I got medicine. It's like they knew. I, I don't know if I should be exploring more. Like, I don't know. It seems uh, fairly straightforward. You know, let's just do free will. Let's see what happens. Wow, he killed two in one. Haha, -ha, you holly boys can't hit me! Yeah, I can definitely free will these ones. Oh yeah. Barely took any damage at all on that one. I think I only got one hit on me. Oh wait, there was a robe. Let's see... Equipment... Okay, where's the robe go? Because I know one of them had a robe on. He does. Okay, so it's an armor slot. Well, maybe you? No. Oh, wait, yeah, he can. Ah, but the ro robe is weaker. Okay. Well, that was a pointless thing to get then. I wonder if there's any um, com uh, combining things in this game. Another coat. Okay, let's try that one. Anybody, you have a leather coat. Yeah, that's plus two. Cool. What about you? Can you wear something different? No. So he must be a mage. I know he's an archer currently, but he must be a mage. I 
I like the free will option. It makes things a whole lot faster. Especially, like, if you know you're just going to do straight-up attacks. And they pretty much just appear, anyway, currently, to do straight-up attacks. Luke. How unusual to have visitors on this island. I must prepare an appropriate welcome. His head almost looks like a fishbowl. Wind rune. What? Um. Well, at least my characters are mostly all healed. Hey, critical. He bouldered me. The boulder is conflicted about fighting small children. The boulder is over his confliction after that critical hit. <laughs> no, that was easy. Of course, it's only the first big battle, so... Wow, you guys are really something, beating my magic like that. I'm impressed, Imperial Guards. Hey, have you got something against us or what? Take it easy, I know who you guys are. You've come to see Lady Laknat, right? I just wanted to test you. I guess you're the real thing. Come this way, honored guests. Guess nothing. Okay. It looked like it might have been something. This seems a little shady. This is weird. Where did he go and why is this place so big? Got this huge tower and not a bathroom in sight. Something's not right here. Nope, I don't like this. Why is this tower just going and going and going? Like not. I was expecting you messengers from the Empire. Oh my, what a cute messenger we have this year. She says you're cute, Willow. How do you feel about that? I'm sorry, you're a soldier of the Empire. I shouldn't call you cute. I have prepared the astral, the astral conclusions. Follow me. Something's wrong here. Young master, we must go to Lady Lucknot's. So it seems that we'll get the astral conclusion shortly. Willow, don't you think the Lady Lucknot is so beautiful? Anyway, you should hurry. Willow, Lady Lucknot should be waiting for you. Master Willow, let's get the astral conclusions quickly and get back home. I'm starving. Something seems wrong here. I'm saving. Because something doesn't seem right. Imperial Messenger, here are the astral conclusions. Please take them. What's your name? I see. Willow. Such a friendly name. I am an, astro uh, an astrological magician. My job is to see the future in the stars. But the future is not unchangeable. All I can see is the overall flow of things. Willow, you are bearing a huge burden in the flow of destiny. You will have to make painful choices and experience a great deal of pain and sorrow. And I know not what the outcome is, but always remember that your destiny is in your own hands. 
Never forget that. You must decide what is right. Do you understand? Here are the astral conclusions. My job is now done. But we will meet again. Not that I see our reunion in the stars. It's just my wish. He receives the astral conclusions. I told you something was wrong. This is bad. You're back at last. You sure look your you sure took your time. What were you up to in there, eh? If we don't hurry, Fudge will get impatient and leave us behind. Let's get going. Don't be so rude to Lady Lucknot. Are you hungry or something? Shut up. You must all be bored. I'll have Luke take you to shore. Luke? I'm here, Lady Lucknot. Take Willow and his companions to the shore. And none of your tricks now, do you hear? Of course not, ma'am. I would never trick anyone. If you'll excuse us, Lady Lucknot, we'll be on our way. You. Yes? Your job is to protect Willow. Take this. It should come in handy sometime. A fire crystal? Willow, remember what I told you. Ready, everyone? Then close your eyes. Wind rune, show your power. Boy, are they late. Hey, Black, think we should leave? I'm, the Imperial Guard should be able to fend for themselves. Boy, I bet you that boy would have been in trouble if he would have left. What the? Whoa, what's going on here? We're back here already? I've never seen such magic. You are a worthy apprentice to Lady Lucknot. That's all fine, but where's Ted? <laughs> Ouch! Watch it, you punk! Better watch your mouth! Enough is enough. I am sick of all this fighting. It's about time. Hurry up and hop on or we'll leave you behind. But we're all aboard. Darn. It's crowded in here. Okay, Black. Let's fly back to the Imperial capital. I'm never going to get over that elephant sound. And still I haven't found a way to naturally save. That doesn't make any sense. I should be able to just naturally save. Speaking of which... Can't naturally save, I'll just auto-save. Where are we? Oh, 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 oh. I thought we were on a beach for a second there. That's the end of my job. You all have to deliver the astral conclusions to the commander. While I'm in the capital, I might as well take a look around. How would you like to go to the theater, Black? Okie dokie. I wish I could run. Wait, what is the, what's the point of this? Oh, I see. You can go around. I thought it was just like a one block step. Okay, I gotta get ready for his voice again. Finally back, eh? I've been sick of waiting for you. Hurry up and give me the astral conclusions. I guess you've done your job. You're apparently not totally useless. So get ready for your next assignment. What's the matter? Why don't you look happier? It's an honor to be able to work for the Empire. Commander Craze is right. Oh, um... Listen carefully. 
East of Grigmaster, Minster, Greg Minster, <laughs> you'll find a town called Rockland. Understand? Rockland, east of Grigminster. Who is that? Was he here last time? He looks like a toy soldier. For some reason, this town has failed to pay its taxes. For some reason, they won't pay. So you will go to Rockland. That's right, you'll go to Rockland. And tell them that their tax payment is overdue. Tell them they're overdue. Shut up! Stop yapping while I'm talking! That's right. All of you stop yapping. Idiot! Kanan! I'm telling you to shut up! Who, me? Forget it. Anyway, ask the military commander of Rockland about the tax situation. His name is Grady, and you'll take Kanan with you on this mission. <laughs> Listen, all of you, I'm your superior in the Imperial Guard. Disobeying me means disobeying the Empire. Keep that in mind. What a creep. That's all I have to say. Now get on your way to Rockland. That's just wonderful. I totally wanted him in my party. And I really wish to figure out how to save because I still cannot save. There's no save thing, and it didn't teach you how to save at all. It's not under anything. There's, there's nothing. It doesn't make sense. Wait, am I healed? No. What if I go to the house first? And heal there? Maybe that's how you save. In the bed. Maybe. Greg Minster. It's such a weird name. Like... Who names their town Greg? Welcome to Greg. Aha! That's how you do it. So you have to go to your bedroom and go to the diary. However, it didn't heal me, and that's kind of concerning, considering I still don't know where any shops are. But that's alright, I still got enough medicine. Oh, there's a shop right there. What's that one? Oh. Wooden shoes, because that sounds pleasant to wear. How about this one? Oh, that's the item shop. Alright, what right about this one over here? Attach? Oh, the fire crystal! That's weird. I wonder why the fire crystal was given to Cleo, but it goes to Willow. What does that mean, attach? Okay, so I attached the rune to Cleo. I don't really know what it means, but we're going to find out. Okay, so that gives you magic. Can I remove, add, etc., etc.? What's this? That's an in. Okay, so what's the searching one? Appraise? I don't understand. This game does not hold your hand. It does not tell you what to do at all. You figure it all out on your own. It's really odd. You'd think they'd give you at least some kind of training. Just something. Granted, I'm doing just fine, I suppose. Alright, so it said to the east. So this way. I don't believe it said north or... I should probably save, because like I said, last time I died immediately. 
up, little town. Hey, I found Rockland already. Yeah, I know the palace, the military's commander's house is all the way up there. Grady's his name, a real scoundrel. Must be this one. Hey, who are you fellows? This is Master Grady's mansion. You're not allowed in here. What do you want? What did you say? I'm Kanan, assistant to the Imperial Guard Commander Craze. Tell Grady to get out here. What? Y yes, sir. Right away. Please wait a moment. What is it? Those villagers come to complain again? Get them out of here. No, sir. They say they're the Imperial Guard. Whatever they are, I'm busy. Hurry up and... What? Imperial Guard? Did you say Imperial Guard? Why didn't you tell me sooner, you fool? Welcome, welcome, members of the Imperial Guard. What brings you to this poor country town? Please come in. <laughs> Looks like you're doing very well here. Oh no, not at all, sir. Forget it. You know why we're here, don't you? Indeed, sir. About the taxes, right? We've been troubled about that, too. You see, some bandits settled on nearby Mount Shifu and have been pillaging the local villages. That's why we've been unable to collect taxes and deliver them to you, but I'm glad there's nothing to be worried about now. What do you mean by that? I speak, of course, of your arrival, the arrival of the Courageous National Guard. Getting rid of country bandits should be an easy task for you. You're not afraid of them, are I'm sure. Ho oh, ho, oh, of course not. Hmm. Bandits, huh? Hmm, well, we should be okay. We'll crush them like flies. Oh, oh, oh. That's ridiculous. Our mission is to... Ha <laughs> ha, I can't wait. I've been wanting or waiting for a good fight. Me too. Let's teach the bandits a lesson, right, Willow? Hmm. Well, I mean, we gotta do what Kanan says, don't we? Young Master, we mustn't. Boys will be boys. Fine. Let's get going. Don't fall back now. I'm glad of your decision, but do you know where Mount Shifu is? Shut up. I was just about to ask you. Mount Shifu is east of Rockland. Fine, now let's go. Is he even going to help me? I bet you he doesn't. I don't even honestly know how much money I had. Are those ants? Red soldier ants. I, I like how I laughed about how they look like little ants fighting each other. And now all of a sudden I'm fighting red soldier ants. I'm getting lots of money, so that's good. Wow, these locations are actually really close by. Mount Shifu. It might be Saifu. I don't know. Finally, Mount Saifu. All of you, don't chicken out because of the bandits. And you too. Here we go. Pawn, you take the lead. Why me? Just shut up and go. I'm the leader, so I'll go last. Psha! This is exciting, isn't it, Willow? Ted, please don't say such things. Young master, don't put yourself in danger. I, Gremio, will be protecting you. Hey, let's go. Okay, then. He's not a coward or anything. Literal bandits. These guys are easy. There was no difficult setting that I'm aware of, but uh, it's probably again because it's so early in. I'm sure they'll ramp up the difficulty here soon. 
Okay, so there's a door there. These look like a different kind of bandit. I might be wrong. But they do look different to me. Like a different weapon. I slid. I mean, I'm leveling up pretty fast. Oh, good thing I went up first. I got boots. And medicine. Always good to have medicine. Alright, equipment. Who needs boots? You got boots. You have boots? Nope. You don't wear shoes, apparently. How about you? Do you wear boots? You also don't wear boots. How about you? Nope. Why give boots if no one can wear the boots? What is the purpose of this? Can I wear extra boots? I can wear extra boots. And it gives me one extra thing. It I am currently wearing two pairs of boots. My feet must be very squished. Ah, they were. One was wearing, or one was using bows and one was using swords. Ow. How dare you. A lot of pathways. That one's a dead end. Hmm. Well, I can't use that while I'm in here, but that's pretty cool. That worked out. I like how he jumped back before he died. The level up system is really weird and I don't really understand it. What's this way? Oh, a chest. Got an antique. That must be the appraising thing. That's a lot of ants. And I know it says soldier ants, but don't those look more like skeletal ants? They killed him! How do we bring them back? So is he just dead now? Wait, this is... So medicines recover by a hundred, huh? Okay, so there is no Phoenix Downs or anything of that nature. It's just you use it and they come back to life. Oh, good. A thousand bits. I honestly debated going up that middle path there, so I'm kind of glad that I didn't. But now I'm going to save because they're actually starting to kick my butt now. Or at least they kicked Gremio's butt. Stand back, I'll protect your debt. Because <laughs> that went well. At least my archers are doing well. bigger cave than I expected. I got leggings? Okay. But we're warriors, not uh, going out on a date. Okay. I guess Gremio wears leggings. Why does that not surprise me? That did not do much. Okay. It's alright. We're good. Get 
Getting a lot of money, I'm concerned about it. I wonder if that's going to be an equipment thing. Probably be an accessory. Maybe not. Yeah, it's an item. Hopefully it'll kill us again. That worked out. Wow, we dodged everything. There's so many battles in here. Oh my word, it just keeps going. It won't save. That looks deadly. Why do they have to make it so long? Alright, there we go. This game actually isn't so bad. What in the... What even are you, a bug lady? Okay, well, I took out the front guard. Oh, no, never mind. Wait, what's your knight do? Talisman attack? No. The queen ant. Oh, I can't use her rune. Let's just kill off that queen before we get more of these guys out here. What is that? You killed Pawn. I'll bring Pawn back. Okay, let's see what we can do. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good at all. Damn, she's powerful. We'll never beat her. At this rate, we'll get wiped out. Fools, what are you saying? You must protect me. Young master, let's run. I'll protect you. I don't know if we can make it. Do something. Willow, everybody stand back. I have an idea. Okay, Ted. Let me handle this. Did I ever let you down? Um, Ted, what are you doing? What the hell? Ted, how did you do that? Sorry, but I can't explain right now. Willow, I'll tell you when we get home, but don't ask now. Anyway, let's get rid of the bandits and go back to Gregminster. Hmm, this must be what Commander Craze was talking about. Oh, that sounds not good. So I was meant to... Oh my god, we're all dead. Was I just supposed to survive or something? Okay. 
Well, I definitely need to use my medicine now, since we're all dead. There. Fortunately, I had a whole lot of medicine. Unfortunately, now the plot has thickened. More of these guys. Free will while I take a drink. Not the best monster in the world, but not bad. Alright, what else can we find? Thunder Rune. Oh, a piece. Thunder Rune piece. I wonder what the talisman would have done. Free will! I'm very curious as to why that guy said that he's over 300 years old. And why he's got uh, magic powers up to but what is that I was trying to search a weird water circle probably safe spot thingy free will oh that didn't kill him Well, at least we're all level 7 now. I wonder where he sent that ant. Oh, it's a save thingy. Alright, we got 6 minutes left. Might have enough time to finish off this mountain. Varkus. Well, well, we have visitors. How unusual. What do you want? Listen up, you bandits. I, Kanan, assistant commander of the Imperial Guard of the Golden Emperor Barbosa. No, Barbarossa. Have come here to teach you a lesson. Turn yourselves in, you tax thieves. Did you hear that? He says we're the tax thieves. Listen here, you Petty clerk, I'm Barkus, the Whirlwind Axe, Sidonia. You introduce yourself to. Oh, Sidonia, you introduce yourselves to. Hey, why bother? Affable fellow. Anyway, that there is Marksman Sidonia. You Imperial tax robbers. Better get out of here before you get hurt. I'm the renowned Imperial hero. Shut up. Don't you join in their games. Listen, bandits. If you don't give yourselves up, you'll be sorry. You want to fight? Fellas, go get them. Whoa! These guys are serious. What are you doing? Hurry up and fight! Fight! Is this really necessary? You guys are hopeless. I'll take you on myself, Sidonia. Give me a hand. <laughs> should probably take out. No, oh, should probably take this guy out. One at a time, I suppose. Hmm. 
It didn't work. I was very much hopeful that, that would do it. Hey, got rid of him. That was just all attack. Oh, you did. Varkus gets, or not Varkus, uh, freaking Gremio gets no experience again. Why does he die so much? Give up? Haha. <laughs> Whew, you alright, young master? <laughs> That's what you get for defying me. You didn't do a thing. Damn. How could I be defeated by Imperial dogs? Capture the bandits. Okay, our work is done. Let's get the hell out of here. But I wanted to go check out the camp. Phew! That idiot sure moves fast on the way down. Hurry it up, you all. We're off to a hero's welcome in Rockland. Ha ha! I really feel like this was a misunderstanding. Welcome back, Master Kanan. What happened with the bandits? What, you captured them? I'll get Master Grady right away. Please wait a moment. You're back so soon. I'm very impressed, Imperial Guardsman. You didn't waste any time capturing the tax thieves. What do you mean, tax thieves? You're the tax thief. Well, glad we'll place them in this dungeon here. Master Kanan? What? Please take this, a small gift from the villagers. Well, thank you very much. 10,000 bits? This is dangerous, so I'll hold on to it. Thanks to my efforts, the bandits have been captured. Let's get back to Greg Meinster. I want to report my success to Commander Craze right away. <clears throat> well, it appears that Mr. Kanan has had a terrible accident. And won't be reporting back. I saw them, I saw them. It's true, the bandits have returned to Mount Shifu in the east. That's where they're hiding out. I don't know, I, I'm probably just going to be butchering that name again and again. Should probably rest. Welcome to Rockland. A soft straw bed and a warm breakfast for only 30 bits each. Oh, that was, that was quick. Yay, we're healed. Let's check out the uh, shop before we leave. Just in case there was any armor here. I wish you could compare it to what I already have. I mean, technically it does, I suppose. The leather coat's good for Pawn and Cleo, but Gremio seems to be my problem, so let's get... Let's get him that one. Ew. Oh, well, these guys don't really have anything. I could just switch them around a bit. I mean, honestly, the robe isn't doing anybody any good, so we'll sell that. But we're going to have to switch some things around. Uh, equipment. How do I do this? Items? Yeah, it's items. Okay, so let's give the... Gloves to him. Oops. And the oh no, and the tunic. 
to him. And then we'll give the medicine to her. I'm sure he had medicine. Well, whatever. We'll give the rune piece. I can use that to him. And we'll give the pot to him. There. There. Now we should be able to equip him with it. There. Perfect. It wasn't the most interesting of equipment. Let's get back home. Save and call this one good, I think. Because we've gone on for a little over an hour, I'm pretty sure. This is as far as you have to come. I will report to Commander Craze. You can all go home and rest. I'm such a nice guy. Yeah, so nice it makes me cry. He's planning to take all the credit for himself. Let's it, let it go, Pawn. It wasn't such a big accomplishment anyway. I'm exhausted. I want to go home and rest. Young Master, we've been away from home for a long time. I'll fix something special to eat. Great, Gremio. Your cooking's terrific. Ted, you come with me. What's this about? Oh, nothing much. It'll be over soon. Come along now. Okay, then. Willow, go on home. I'll see you later. Besides, I have something to tell you. Let's go, Ted. He ain't coming back. I get the feeling Ted's gone for good. Oh, whoops. Okay, in we go. Finally, home sweet home. Young master, I'll prepare some food right away. Phew, I'm stuffed. Sure beats the dried meat we've uh, been eating. Finally, some food fit for humans. What are you talking about? You'd eat anything to fill your stomach. You've got a point there. <laughs> well, I said I laughed weird, but I guess he would too. Young master, I've made some tea. Ted's late. He said he'd be right back. The stew's getting cold. That's not a good sign. Well, let's save and we'll find out what the terrible news is in our next episode. I've actually enjoyed this game so far. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed this, hit that like, subscribe button, and I will catch you all in the next episode where we find out what's happened to Ted. Bye!